Hello there, welcome back to my bench again. In this tutorial, I'm going to tie you up another midge pattern. This guy is simply called the CDC Midge. And he's tied it with a CDC feather, ostrich, stripped ostrich churl for the body, uh, some dark partridge feather for the legs, and uh, black dubbing for the head. Very simple tie, but an effective little midge pattern. So I figured I'd give this guy a tie for you. So I'll get him out of the vise, a fresh hook in, and we'll get started here. Okay, for the hook, I'm using a size 18, 94840, must head, standard dry. We'll get him locked in here, there we go. And I'm using Vivas 14 out black for thread. So I'm going to start my thread a ways back behind the eye here to leave room for the head about three eye lengths. And we're going to wrap back, touching wraps to the bend of the hook here. And I'm going to come in and snip off that tag in, just like so. A couple more wraps back. Okay, I have a stripped ostrich churl here, black ostrich churl, stripped the fibers off of it. And we're going to tie that in by the tip here. Okay, I'll wrap that on on top of the shank here, like so. Then we're going to wrap that down, wrap forward to where you want your body to end. There we go. Now I'll come in and snip off that extra little bit there. There we go. Okay, now we're going to wrap this hurl. That's ostrich churl. Now it's very important that you just take your time here and go easy because they are fragile, same as peacock curl. So we'll make our first wrap here. Get our body started and we'll come around. One wrap, wrap right in front of the next. Just like so here. And we'll keep wrapping forward. Just like so. And make about one more wrap, okay. Then I want to come under that hurl and up over top, underneath. A couple wraps ahead, a couple in front, then we're going to snip off the excess. Okay, and we're going to wrap back to where we want to tie in our legs. Okay, now the next step to make this much more durable, the body. I'm going to take a little bit of my solar as bone dry, just a tiny, tiny drop. Don't need very much at all. Just put a little dab on there, like so. Then I'm going to take a needle and just spread that around. Sure, cover the whole body here. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to come in and cure that real quickly. Just uh, give that a little shot of UV light. Only take a few seconds. There we go. Okay, that'll make that body stand up to the fish. There's teeth in that, so. Okay, our next step is to tie in the legs. And they're just, I got a real dark uh, gross feather here. And I'm just going to pull off about 10 to 12 fibers. Okay, just like so here, and we want those underneath the hook, and we don't want them very long at all, so I'm going to come up on those, just like so, a couple wraps, make sure that stays under, and I'm going to pull those even shorter, just checking here to see how short they are, okay, that's fine right there, okay, I'm going to come in, snip off my excess here underneath, just like so, make sure those are under the shank where I want them, that looks good. Wrap those down good with some snug wraps forward. Then come back and we're ready to attach our wing here. Okay. Okie dokie. So for our wing, I just want the very tips of one CDC feather. It's the very tips. So I want to stroke them forward. Even make sure the ends are even here, even as they can be. 
and I'm going to tie that so it just comes back to the bend of the hook. Don't want it any farther. Come out with a pinch loop, come down snug, and wrap back on it a little bit. Okay, there's our wing. We'll come in, snip off the excess here, just like so. And we'll bind that down with some snug wraps here. Okay. Alright, all it's left to do now is dub our head of the fly. And that's just any black dubbing that you want to use is fine. But uh, super fine is a lot better for these midge flies, something real fine. So I have some uh, some fine black dubbing here I'm gonna put on. Just to make a very sparse noodle. Not much at all. Just to form a head on this guy. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, we'll come around just like so here. Okay, actually had a little too much on there, just a bit, so. Come around and forward to the eye, make a couple wraps. And I just want to check those legs, make sure they're positioned where I want them. good there okay so we're pretty well done now we just got to make a three or four turn whip finish and this little midge is done real easy tie but an effective little midge pattern so we'll come up and make three or four turn whip finish here and he's a done deal okay just snug him in good Come in, snip off my excess thread here. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a very small drop of head cement on this guy. Just like so, let that soak in. Okay, so he's a done deal. Another size eight, 18 black midge. Very simple tie. So that's all there is to it. I can bring them in a little here so you can see them a little better still. So like always I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can get a chance to tie this little midge up and give them a try. And uh, if you did like this video and you want to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe and the like button. I'd really appreciate that a lot. And I want to thank you very much for watching and until next time signing out for now. Happy tying everyone, I'll see you again soon, so long for now folks.